careful, big guy. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. And we are live. Welcome back to part 13 of Marston Mondays, where we free run with John and will never leave epilogue 2. We will never build the ranch. Charles is never leaving camp. Sadie is stuck in the Blackwater Saloon. Abigail and Jack, they're fine. They're staying with friends up in Strawberry. And what happened to our horse? Let's do a stable check. Currently we have an open slot, the Tiger Mustang, Rachel of course, and the Dark Bay Turcoman. Let's take the Turk. Safe travel. Remember to rest We need to find a Hungarian half-bred. Why, you may ask, and the answer is, as always, it's complicated. Let's get started. Hello there. <laughs> Hungarian spawn way more consistently post game. Here is a flaxen chestnut, and here is our location. Chola Springs. Let's go get him. Approach with caution and try not to lock onto the thoroughbred. Hey! Now we can become better acquainted. Also, he is a male. If you are wondering, check under the hood. So embarrassing. It is obvious, and once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Now remember. Yourself. Easy enough. And here is where the horse actually spawned. Have an apple. Easy boy. <laughs> And let's brush that magnificent coat. This was one of Arthur's first favorite breeds. I do like the lighter coats, the Palominos and the Golden Highlights. They just don't really have great stats. Even this flaxen chestnut has the weakest stats of all the Hungarians. We can do a side by side with the Dark Bay. Don't move on me, girl. Stay here. 
Note the Hungarian's extra long tail, very distinctive. The Hungarian is heavier and slightly taller. The dark bay Turkoman has a sleeker physique and looks more like a thoroughbred, which makes sense as she is half racehorse. How's that feel? And we shall take some photos for the Instagram. We shall also give the Dark Bay a brush, just so she doesn't get jealous. Okay, let's get everybody back to the stables. But first, let's get this condor. John hates condors. They are too big. No bird should ever be that big. John may be a little afraid of condors. And now we are in Armadillo. The reason we needed a Hungarian half-bred is we are making a video entitled Collecting All 12 Horse Cards with Matching Horses in Red Dead Redemption 2. And the only card Arthur cannot collect is here in Armadillo. John is of course happy to help out, but doesn't like when we talk about Arthur, especially in his video. The cigarette card is located in the abandoned blacksmith barn. It's right by that missing panel. Here is your card. And here is your map. Just west of the A in Armadillo, where the plague pits glow so pleasantly at night. Let's get out of here. Hey boy.
John thought that falcon was a condor. We can sell those feathers to the trappers. Moving on. There. And then back at Bonnie's ranch because we need to go here. Still Water Creek. We have a date with a legendary fish. Really thought something would happen on the trail. We had the Lancaster out, but we got there unscathed. And this fisherman is going to be a problem. He is exactly where we need to be. Also, he has a dog. Really don't want to kill a dog today or any day. If you're a man, you'll be polite. Let's explore the cabin and maybe he'll go away. Nothing in here, no supplies, and a sink full of dirty dishes. But we can sleep here. Okay, perhaps we can share the dock. How's about this? No, he's still too close. Unfortunately, it's waist deep because drowning here would be really embarrassing, especially in front of that NPC. Careful, big guy! Sometimes the easiest solution is the best. John calls it the Gordian Knot solution. Hosea probably told him about Alexander the Great and the Gordian Knot. Let's go fishing.
Pretty sure he's in here. Let's try again. Okay, here we go. Yes. I understand you are excited, John, but there is no need for foul language. The legendary redfin pickerel, 10 pounds, 3 ounces. Larger pickerel are in Stillwater Creek. They strike special lake and river lures. Trade I'm keeping you. And here is our location. And here is a curious name, Thieves Landing. What's over there, I wonder? John should investigate. Dismount here, no reason to involve the horse in John's shenanigans. And we are almost out of tonics, that is an added challenge. As far as gang hideouts go, I would rank this somewhere between Hanging Dog Ranch, but lower than Fort Mercer. The real challenge is finding all of them. Let's try dynamite. Really wanted to hit him with the dynamite, and this is not our hat.
glitching a little here, not sure what that's about. Okay, done and done. Let's explore and collect supplies. What a mess. Nasty business. A little bit of cash in here. This boat is fun, but you have to be careful because you can run right off it and you will never make it back to shore. Couple gold nuggets down here. I wonder if they respawn. I bet they do. And note all of these barrels. Looks like John stumbled onto the De Lobos moonshine operation. These barrels all say Dewberry Whiskey. I would assume the De Lobos are selling their knockoff hooch in these barrels. Let's set it on fire.
And John is on a roof and what it call the horse, but she is out of range. Irritating. Also, I believe these structures are all locked. And a canoe. John hates canoes because he cannot swim. Explosive round from the M1899, useless. Time for a fire bottle. And this will make a fine thumbnail. And let's go find that horse. And the game wasn't kidding when they said the horse was out of range. Where did she go? And when is a big strong Turkoman afraid of a little gunfire? This video is sponsored by Batman Tonio, my second gaming channel where we play every other video game that isn't Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for longer format deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. There she is. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. We need to find a doctor's office because we need more potent miracle tonic. I'll see you next week. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Careful, big guy! <laughs> Alright! Hot down, Marston! <laughs> <laughs>